Ladles and Jelly Spoons is Tim Down for Live With MS in Tenerife. It is Wednesday. It is uh, 5.55 and it's Balcony Banter. <sighs> and today we have Christina and... Yuliani, hi girls. Hello. We have Mr. Ian Miller himself. Good evening, all. Good evening. And I've just seen a special guest popping in. Woohoo. Down the man. How's it going, my friend? What's the crack? You all right? Good oh, to see cool, you. Cool. Hello. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. And, oh. and there's a special, somebody's um, got it on in the background. Oh, yeah. I think I have to. Okay. Put it down. Okay, that's Liuniani. <laughs> we also have the sunset, which is a little bit um, grey today, the grey sunset. And funny as well, because the sun sometimes peaks out. It does. The sun between, will come out tomorrow. Between the clouds. Between the clouds. Peekaboo. <laughs> and we also have live pictures from La Palma. There's not a lot going on there. As it gets darker, we may be able to see something, but uh, there's been a little, quite a few um, earthquakes. earthquakes over four. The one this morning was 4.9 on the Richter scale. Mm -hmm. It was a 5.1, I think, as well. Was it a 5.1? I didn't see yeah. that. I've, I've downloaded this new app, uh, which uh, tells me them, but I didn't look lately. I know there was one this morning over four. I've got it filtered for over four, everybody. Well, I don't know how many people we've got online watching because I forgot me my little iPad Mini, but we it will always say twenty nine. <laughs> no, forty seven. <laughs> oh, but it will stay like forty seven. <laughs> okay, so we have five people. No, we have six cameras on. So I need to put up a multi view of six people, and let's see how we can do six people like this. I think that's good. Let's Trying to do. Get it here. Let's pre-select the select the slots. So we're going to go for multi-view, and we're going to go. A is going to be Timmy Baby. Uh, B is going to be. Hang on. If I'm pointing that way, that's the girls then. So that's that's right. And C <laughs> is going to be. We'll put down the man on the top, and then along the bottom we will have D as the sunset. E in the middle there as Ian in the middle. It's peaking now, eh? And F, yeah. we shall have the volcano. So I don't know whether this is going to work, ladles and jelly spoons, but if it does, it's going to be cool. There you go, hey! ladies and gentlemen. We're all online. <laughs> Woohoo! We can see everybody. Can, I can even put the, my thing down the bottom, can I? There you go. Oh, look at, oh, well, you look at that. that. Like, subscribe, and <laughs> ring that little <laughs> bell for notification. You know what, guys? You say it's Tim's got all the technical, and it's too much, and he can't do anything with it, and it's faulty towers and everything, but look at this, eh? That's brilliant. Whatever blogger's got six cameras on, there you go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next level. Next uh, level. Next level blogger, there you go. I'm getting uh, people as unsubscribing as we speak, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, thank you for coming in today. I know Ian reached out, our executive producer reached out to you, and he explained what. what the topic was going to be, and because you put up that um, that vlog earlier on in the week, um, um, bringing to the fore and, and showing people that if you do need help, you, you can reach out. And I know you're doing it from your heart, and I, know, and I think I know why you're doing it as well. And... Yeah. Uh, so we, we wanted to bring you on because this is coming through from the other angle. Yuliani, mm -hmm. do you want to set it up today? Yeah, I mean, basically, uh, the topic of today is how does happiness show? And it, uh, it touches up on the topic we already started uh, talking about last week, the knock knock. Mm -hmm. uh, when happiness knocks on your own door and sometimes uh, you decide to keep the door shut because you're not really happy uh, or uh, welcoming the happiness. So... Um, so today we are elaborating on the topic, yeah, more or less. <laughs> Dan, uh, because we'll usually do some other stuff first, but I want to go straight into it because I know you don't have a lot of time, and so oh, no, I can give you the, uh, I can give you a whole hour if you want. If that's how long you're going. Oh, on. cool! Oh, cool! Um, cool. Oh, I wow. have uh, freed up my my evening a bit. Uh, I have to go shopping later on because I'm I'm on a health kick, starting from today. I've dumped all the bad food out of my fridge, so. I did that as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, I dumped it in my gob. 
And uh, we've actually got a bottle of wine uh, as well. It's open already, it's yeah? It's open already, wow. you know. Uh, but, I, but I haven't had a drink since, when was it, Saturday? Okay. So, and I said, I'm just going to have a little tipple of wine because I, I don't want to give it up altogether, but also I don't want to go back to what I was doing. And I've got my Tim and Tonics ready for the thirst. Tonic Zero. Even Taking the pressure off, yeah, right? Even though it's still 25... Uh, Oh, it's eight. No, it's not. Hang on. Calories. Oh, it's only six calories. Six calories a can. Oh, that's not bad. That's not too bad, is it? Six calories a can. Okay, so if you've got a long time, what I'll do is I'm just going to go through... Um, actually, what I want to do is just... I put up a, a, a vlog the other day of the sunset, and it was quite long, and I noticed people dropping off. Once they'd seen the sunset, they didn't stay till the end. But there was a thing right at the beginning that I was quite proud of. So I'm going to show you guys that. You I might have seen it, good. but the one with the robot, yeah? So what I've done, I've, <laughs> yeah, just, cut, just, I've just cut the robot off. bit out. And uh, this is the robot bit. So we'll just listen to that. It's only like uh, a minute ten. Jim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. We're at the wonderful square here at the bottom of Calle El Hubli. Where is the lava? So you can tell that we're on a volcanic island. Not as active now as the one that's maybe about 100 kilometers that way, which is La Palma. And I'm sure you've seen lots of vlogs about that. Bushcraft Bear, Daniel, Andrew. And so I'm not gonna do La Palma, but I will do Cayo Savaki. So it's reasonably to, to think that uh, the tourists are staying away. And that is a problem. If the tourists do stay away, then there's no money. So if you're still thinking of making holidays in the Canary Islands, don't forget to nip over to La Palma and have a look and come over to Tenerife and see us. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Whoa. Nice. So, so what do you think of that? Thank you very much. Yep. The hotel was still standing. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm sort of enjoying that bit. So I think what I'm, I'm going to do is uh, when I go out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, when I've got time now, right, um, I'm going to actually do some sort of vlog somewhere and then put some little stuff in it, little, little Easter eggs in it that you Easter might not eggs. see. Yeah, <laughs> eggs, yeah. um, but I, I, sh I showed that again because when I heard you were coming on, Dan, um, if somebody's on holiday in, um, in Tenerife, and they fancy a day trip to La Palma, is that something that you could organise? Yeah, we can. And, and, and one of the things, I, I, I'm just going to speak a word on it because it's this, 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 this kind of... When I went over there, I got a bit of grief on social media, like, why are you going there? And, and what I was trying to explain to people is, it, is exactly you said in that video. And I've talked to people living in Santa Cruz, I, you know, and because part of me when I got that, I said, well, maybe I am wrong. And I said to people, you know, do you want us coming here? Do you feel bad that we, it says, we need tourism. Like, like the, the island needs people to come visit. And one of the tour companies that we work with actually donate half the money to, to help people over there that are struggling. Um, so we do run tours there. Um, I went there. Um, at the moment, I'm actually in the process of, I've contact directly with families who've lost their homes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be doing a video and every penny that that my videos have made via youtube has been donated directly to those families i saw that well um, done and i will be and my my plan is to try and get a video that gets a lot of views um so that every so obviously the more views the more money it makes so if the more money it makes the more money i can give to people who have lost their homes i mean the family How about you and me in a boxing ring uh, no, no, not ring. No, no. I have enough damage uh, done to myself. <laughs> I won't hit you. Um, <laughs> I'll just be the punch bag. People will pay to watch me being punched in the face. face. needs regular <laughs> panel beating. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so it's just that's that's really um, one of the things that kind of one of the things that was said to me was this particular family as well. They're paying a mortgage and now they're having to pay rent and they're struggling finan financially. Wow. So that particular family that went towards their rent this month. Um, so 
this is one of the things I'm, I'm trying to do. I haven't had time this week because of a lot of my own stuff. I have to I have to move house at the end of this month. Um, so I have a lot of stuff going on. My mother's very, very unwell. Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so next week I plan to meet up with a guy who lost his home over there. We're going to do an interview. I'm going to put some videos together. He's going to talk about how his neighbours are suffering because of it. And hopefully we, as all vloggers, and I would, you know, that we can share it, push it out there make as much money for, for um, the people who, who have lost their homes over there. And uh, yeah, that's my ramble over. That's me making a long sto a short story long. There you no, go. The more, the more yeah, channels that get this message out, the better. And uh, we're proud to be with you on that. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, DJ, I can't remember, his, what's Rick's pseudonym? DJ, uh, Ma Ma I forgot now. Uh, uh, Dick something. Dick, Dick Rapper. Ra Dick Rapper, that's right, yeah. I went blank for a second. Yeah, Dick, Dick <laughs> Rapper, yeah. Not not with a W. <laughs> 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 Dick Rapper. I don't know what to say to that. He, he, should, be, he should be called Dick W Rapper or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we could, call him, we could call him Willy Warmer for short. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that one. I know. Okay, so according to, so I, I hope I've made you all happy now. Oh, very much so. Yes. Let's go ahead yes. and listen to Yulianis. I'm going to mute us on this end. You guys mute yourselves if you want or just don't speak. And it's only three minutes long, yeah, it's so not it's long. not long. So we'll listen to this, and then we'll come back and we'll do that. In the meantime, I'll go and grab a thing that I can read the um, the comments. I know everybody's saying hi. Yeah, hi, 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 hi. Lovely day for walking, etc., etc., etc. Exactly, and it's nice to see your comments also on that one. So last week we had a lot of engagement, which uh -huh. was great, yep. and uh, we would love to mm -hmm. carry on and uh, yeah, include your comments in the chat. Exactly. In our conversation. So uh, you've already set this up, is uh, happiness. And d can we name the person who asked the question or do they want, not want to be named? I know they uh, weren't in the thing. No. Fede. It's, it was my friend uh, Federica. 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 She's going to kill me when she hears that. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, <laughs> she doesn't watch. <laughs> no, no, she doesn't. Are you, that's are why you, are I can you do it. Are you going to name the ducks? Are you going to name the two ducks? Ah, hmm. <laughs> you can pick a name, actually. Eh? Were they geese? Yes, they're oh, geese. I think they were geese. They're geese. Yeah. Exactly. And there's some animals in the background as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, guys. Right I'm Juliana <laughs> here with uh, Vlog 21, episode uh, 13 today. And today I'm out here uh, on excursion with my friends and uh, we were just talking and my friend had a really good question for me. So please go ahead. <laughs> so how do you know when you get up in the morning that you are happy and how you express your happiness during the day? Okay, very good question. How do I know that I'm uh, happy when I get up in the morning? Well, first of all, um, it's something of course that shows. Happiness is something that uh, you express, uh, whereas unhappiness is something you uh, s rather suppress. You don't show it. But uh, happiness, uh, it shows, uh, well, uh, first of all, when you smile, it shows. And uh, of course, you, you, ha you are more open to, um, to other people. You're maybe more outgoing and you just uh, are more at ease, basically. Whereas uh, when you are unhappy, you um, you suppress it and you are um, very closed and you, you don't want to open up to others and you maybe just want to stay at home and um, be all by yourself. And uh, very closed and maybe even closed-minded. But uh, happiness uh, also um, lets you open up um, more your mind and then uh, this is a very good state of mind uh, to start with uh, being happiness conscious because this is what you need to uh, to have this state of mind to become happiness conscious so that happiness can actually become a, um, a habit which is important uh, to to remain it um, um, in your life to keep it in your uh, in your life because um, if you, um, if it only happens once then um, it's maybe not going to stay. But um, when you make happiness a habit, then um, it's something um, um, 
starting to get a routine and it's um, something that repeats and uh, you are going to be programmed on being happy and then you look for activities in your life um, that make you happy as well um, so today for example we are out here on excursion I think this is a very good opportunity to um, to become happy and to to do actively something <laughs> that makes you happy okay I don't know if you can see it but those are <laughs> making that noise <laughs> Okay, well, this is a very good reason to be happy and laughing. <laughs> well, um, guys, tomorrow I'm gonna be out again with a video 14. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be that happy and that laughing, that much laughing. But anyway, I enjoyed it very much, especially this day out in nature. <laughs> <laughs> and unexpected moments. <laughs> Thanks for watching, yeah. guys. And see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, there we go. I thought it was fantastic. That <laughs> <It> was good. <laughs> uh, yes. And I hope you didn't mind me putting those little. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Excellent. Times. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yeah enjoy and find joy in the in the little moments right <laughs> those serendipities <laughs> serendipity that's the one yeah those uh, unexpected uh, yeah moments actually that uh, that bring you uh, joy it's it's taking them and uh, taking those imperfect moments probably and making them sort of perfect and funny and uh, yeah enjoyable. What do you say, uh, Chris? Yeah, but just get happy during the day. Because mm -hmm. I'm a Morgan Muffel. I don't know how to say a that. A Morgan Muffel. A yeah. Morgan Muffel. <laughs> so, she doesn't do mornings. Great. Yeah. yeah. She's great. She's even got a T-shirt that says "I don't do mornings." Uh -huh. Do you know where it is? Yeah. How old is it? It <laughs> is forty years old. Older than Stephanie. Yeah. Well. Wow. Okay. Do you have an uh, uh, an English equivalent for Morgan Muffle? I don't think so. No. But it's like grumpy grumpiness in the morning. Yeah, because as I told you before, I have these great dreams. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm back in my bed. Uh huh. I can do nothing. Yeah. So is that sort of like, uh, uh, don't interrupt my reality? Yeah. Sort of. This is lovely. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. A muscle shirt. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, this is really 80s, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Definitely it's great. 80s. <laughs> Older in Seattle. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. So, how about you, Ian? Are you a morgen muffer, a grumpy morning man? No, I'm, I'm not grumpy in the morning. No? No. If, you're, if, you're, if you get in your bed grumpy, you're going to be grumpy all day, aren't you? Yeah. You've got, <laughs> you've, it's, it's like uh, uh, as you said in the start of our, our question there. How do you know when you get up in the morning whether yeah. you're going to be happy? It's it's how you feel when you get yourself out of your bed in the morning. You know if you're going to be happy or you're going to be grumpy. Yeah. So what do you do? You go, you get your shower, you do whatever you have to do, and you wake yourself up, mm -hmm. wake up your body, you yeah. get your get your mind going on the good stuff. Yeah. What you going to what you going to do for the day? So yeah, you yeah. would you say that you you sort of have to um, calibrate your mind into um, yeah into a certain direction? It's it's not a case. Of, I wouldn't use the word calibrate. I would use the word get yourself in tune. Get yourself yeah. in tune with your body and your how you yeah. feel, and get yourself out and away you go. And when you feel, um, I mean, not every day is the same, obviously. And uh, and sometimes there are days where you just don't feel like um, like it's gonna be a good day. But
but um, would you say it helps um, to to um, yeah set your mind or tune your mind into that um, yeah better frequency? Yeah, if that if you know your your if let's say if you're not in the mood of doing something, mm -hmm. you're going to be grumpy. Uh -huh. I mean, I would I would just sort of go away and probably sit down and have a wee thought to myself. Yeah. Why am I grumpy? Why am I grumpy? Yeah. Let's go and do something to make myself happy. I would, you know what I would do? I would go away out to my garden. Yes. Yeah. And and get get the feeling going. Get the get the good feelings back in your body. Get the exactly. good feelings back in your mind. Yeah. You know, get rid of get rid of your negative thoughts. That, you had when you got up in the morning you weren't in a good mood or anything like that it's a Get good point you're making there um you mm, you were saying that um you you are uh, mm, choosing basically the mm, how you want to feel um or you ask yourself the question oh why do i feel like this but that's already um, that's already taking it a step further because sometimes we don't even raise this question to ourselves and uh, and that's where like being honest with our own self uh, comes into play. I f uh, I feel like yeah. uh, why when, why am I this grumpy? N nothing uh, n is is really wrong. Uh, I mean the weather I can change it. I can't uh, change certain circumstances uh, around me. Uh, but why am I feeling this way? And then from that point m maybe yeah taking better action better action and uh, and there are days where it has to be a little bit more um um yeah uh, you, you, it you've needs a little bit more input i would say yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you've said it you've said it the feeling you've, you've mm. got to get your feelings as i said before in tune yeah um it's, just before uh, it goes i want to make sure that uh, Anne gets a mention her uh, comment was a bit too long to put on the screen but Anne Marie Elton sort of saying, not always easy to be happy though, difficult uh, through difficult times. Yeah. But happiness and laughter in our lives are so important yeah. for our mental health. So focus on the positives as much as possible. Absolutely, yeah. And That's, a lot of people are agreeing with that. Absolutely agree yeah. with that. And I, uh, I, and it's um, we were um, saying a lot of times or talking a lot of times about attitude, and I mean breaking down attitude, the word. What it, what it is, uh, it's like uh, it begins with thoughts, which causes feelings and which uh, lets you take action. So um, it, it's better to have um, uh, yeah, a good attitude um, towards maybe even a not so good situation or not so good um, 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 yeah, moment you have and then uh, see what you can do. And, and for myself, um, I mean, we can tr you can try this right now and <laughs> yeah, everyone can join in actually. Okay. I mean, uh, this is like really a booster, an instant booster and it's whistling. <laughs> I mean, try to whistle. I can't, and I can't laugh and try whistle at the same to, time. Try to be unhappy and, and, and whistle at the same time. I mean. <laughs> well, uh, that's over to you then, Dan. Woohoo! <laughs> whistle. Me whistle. <laughs> Not into the microphone, across the microphone. Oh, sorry. I was just doing the scorpions. Wind of change. The wind of change. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, yeah. I'd, like, I'd, like, I'd, I'd like to pick up a point that, on, on there. Uh, there is, I feel, a very fine line between sadness and happiness. Yes. Although you're a sad, don't dwell on it. Mm -hmm. Find something that you like doing. Mm -hmm. and get yourself back into a happy mood. Yeah. I know I know it's difficult sometimes for some people. Uh, I went through this mm -hmm. earlier on in the year and I got myself over that line. You did, huh? I and look where back, you are now. I got myself back into my happy mood. But yeah. it's all it's all I think it's all dependent on what you like and it's you and it's part of uh, of of life as well we were talking about that last week the um, that it's normal those ups and downs I was referring to the the ocean the water 
it's the waves and uh, and uh, just know know that there is uh, dips and then it goes up again and then uh, and there's another dip and then it goes up again but every time and every dip uh, teaches uh, us something but uh, knowing with faith that you will come out of the dip and uh, and keeping your attitude um, better or uh, more positive really helps to uh, get you out of the dip quicker. Maria's put up a question yeah. here. Um, does inner peace lead to a happy life? I would say so. I think it's one yeah. way of doing it. I mean, inner, inner peace is a good way, but I think mm. being happy, um, rushing towards your grave, kicking and screaming um, with with that all, all guns no. blaring is also no. happy. You know what I mean? You don't have to have peace to be happy, but you just got to be uh, enjoyable about what you're doing. You yes, know? So, exactly. Um, some people can be happy moaning. Yeah. You know, some people like having a struggle or like having a moan, you know. Uh -huh. um, I, I suppose that's a, what's the word? I suppose that is a privilege. Yeah. Or conditioning. Or, con or conditioning, <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you were, we, were, we were saying about, or we were talking about happiness conscious. So um, you can also be, um, uh, 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 what is, un unhappiness is... Uh, happiness unconscious. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the opposite of uh, happiness is... Sadness. Uh, sa yeah, sadness. Yeah. Okay, sadness mm. conscious. So, uh, so, so mm, the same way you pr uh, sort of program yourself to be uh, or to get into more act uh, activities that bring you more joy, more bliss and more um, inner peace, if you want to say so. Yeah. Um, uh, the same way um, uh, there are people that are more uh, tuned uh, and um, tuned into sadness. And, and sort of attract everything that is on that frequency, on that vibration. Okay. And um, yes, and it has a lot to do with uh, vibration and, and raising the vibration, but also your, uh, your individual like willingness and uh, m m being prepared to, to put in the work because it doesn't really come um, automatically. So, uh, the the garden, you know, the, the weeds uh, uh, or the yeah, the mala yerba mm -hmm. has to uh, uh, be plucked, <laughs> right? The mala yerba has to be plucked. And the weeds have uh, or the garden has to be cultivated, doesn't it, uh, um, Ian? So you I know best. Yeah, you're the keen yeah. gardener. <laughs> you said it, you're you're cultivating the garden. So at yep. the same time, what do you do? You cultivate your mind as yep. well. Yeah, that's it. I know, Dan, oh, yeah. you can't get yeah. a word in edge the us jabber, 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 and... Come on, Dan, Dan. <laughs> I know so how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, right? Um, I suppose, to throw my oar in, um, I'm a strong believer of, I don't think, I don't believe in denying any emotion. Um, I think mm. that, uh, I think that uh, the word human um, means we, we are susceptible to the full range of emotions. Unless we're anesthetizing ourselves with chemicals or, or, or drugs or alcohol, then we are, we are, <laughs> we are, I mean, I mean, anesthetizing where you're constantly just avoiding emotion in your life and you, you're, 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 you're drinking to suppress emotion or you're, you're taking drugs to suppress emotion, which is what I did in the past. Then you, in my opinion, then you are open to the full range of emotions. And I spent, a lot of my earlier life denying emotions and that is including sadness um and when i denied emotions and anesthetized myself then i didn't feel the full range of emotions and sadness is one of those emotions and it's not for me it's not a negative emotion unless you dwell on it and you talked exactly. about it there um yeah. julianne which was basically you know where you hold on to it you you get into a bath of self-pity and you you wallow yeah. in that self-pity and you keep rolling it all over you but then there's the exact extreme opposite where you've got a sadness and you just ignore it and you tell yourself be happy be okay let you you shouldn't be sad you're not supposed to be sad chin up smile stop you know what i mean that that for me is denying an emotion that needs to be released and um one of the things i've learned over the years is to say hold on danny stop what's that emotion that's dwelling inside yourself it's sadness danny you know what it's okay right now to feel sad 
It's okay yeah. to have shed a tear. Don't dwell on it, but feel sad and give it the space to be released. And that for me is, you know, and, and one of the misconceptions is like, you need to be happy. You can't, you know, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. YouTube, social media, all those things where you're given sometimes the best picture of everyone's life. Oh, well, you know, and then you're looking and go, well, I should be always like that. The reality is, you know, and I, and I shared it in the vlog that I did the other day and I finished on that because when I get going, I can ramble for hours. Um, but is that um, it doesn't matter. What, like I see in the comments there, I was reading some of the comments like, oh, I'd be happy if I lived in Tenerife. Nothing outside. And I think Anne, Anne Elton, uh, I think, touched on that as well. If you're not feeling okay within yourself, nothing outside will ever, ever make you feel better. Nothing. Yeah. It might give you a second's gratification when you buy the latest toy, the, the coolest car, or whatever you think outside of yourself is going to give you a, a sum of satisfa satisfaction. Mm -hmm. The reality is the only happiness, true inner happiness, comes from the inside out, and that is finding a place of peace within your soul, heart, and mind. And that takes practice. And for me, my practice is getting up in the morning, meditating for 10 minutes, saying my prayers, connecting with nature, and, and starting a day. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to be smiling all day. It might still mean that I have to cry today or I have to feel sad, but I'm connected with myself. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and I feel okay with myself. That's my ramble over. Sorry for going on too long. No, no, That's no. Perfect. I totally agree with that. Huh? And uh, to, to go uh, um, back to what you said, um, Dan, with... Um, with the uh, sad, the sad moments, they they are also part of uh, of life, and that's uh, totally uh, real to to live them. And uh, what you and Ian were saying, um, don't just don't dwell uh, dwell on them. And it has nothing to do um, with uh, being fake, uh, happy, or um, creating something, but to get yourself. Uh, vibing higher and to get yourself maybe out of a, a sad moment um, uh, it sometimes needs this little push uh, it just uh, needs this little come on like uh, like just imagine like a friend would uh, would come visit you and uh, and say hey come on come on you can do it. Uh, it that's that's how you give yourself the the little nudge and, and say uh, and um, start some like self self motivation and uh, and sadness and uh, and um um Fee uh, feeling those emotions that that is totally um, normal and needs to be done because this is part of uh, of, of healing. I mean, uh, some uh, sometimes we don't even realize how much uh, uh, how much baggage we actually still um, uh, carry on, and there's uh, trauma uh, su suppressed, and we don't even know that it's there. And and this is uh, this is uh, um, stuff that needs to get out, and if it needs to get out in a b best way, uh, yeah, more civilized. Uh, and uh, if it gives you that emotion that you need to cry, then it's good to cry. But um, still, uh, within this healing process, uh, still make um, maybe the choice um, to to still allow yourself um, feeling. Um, happier or going uh, in an upward uh, loop, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to, to, to elaborate on that, I suppose, when you talk about the friend to yourself, is like uh, imagine that friend come around and you're crying and you're feeling mm -hmm. sad. Firstly, putting their arm around you and mm -hmm. saying, "You know what? I understand why you're sad. I understand why you feel yeah. like that. Shed your tears," and then picking you up. And taking you out to show you something beautiful you know what i mean yeah. you may feel like that you need to feel that but here's something good in your life you know one of the things i learned um many you know when i was really when i, I used to really swallow and self-pity and i used to go into mm. dark place particularly in the early days of my recovery when i didn't really know what all these emotions were and i had a lot of um traumatic experiences in my childhood that, that i've dealt with it on a you know through different methods and I used to get into that place where I'd be digging into self-pity and hiding out and just, yeah. you know, the, the gratitude list, you know, mm. get up in the morning, get, get a piece of paper, get a pen and write the 10 things down that you're grateful for. And those 10 things don't, you know, it's not, oh, well, I don't, you know, well, I can't be grateful because I haven't got 
the 54 inch TV and you know uh, mm. I haven't got a Ferrari sitting outside well you know what breathe into your nose now can you smell the flowers um, can you look at you know there's many different things you can look at that you can talk about being grateful for and and that used to work for me write that gratitude list you know I'm grateful that I had a bed to go to tonight you mm -hmm. know I'm grateful that the roof was over my head no, um, so yeah. Anyways, I'll ramble on again. No, <laughs> perfect, this exactly perfect. What this is exactly why it's here. I mean, yeah. Ian, um, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got. I mean, you, you've already talked about most of the things here. I've got three wee tips that might help people out there. Don't bottle it up. Mm. Talk about your feelings. Do something that you're good and you enjoy it to get yourself into a happy mood and ask for help when you need it there is people out there that will come you've said it Dan will come and listen to you yeah that's you know that's just three tips that I I picked up just recently and so um, and and sometimes you know it's not as simple as going to your friend. Sometimes you have something. I had something very traumatic in my childhood. Um, and to clarify, it was nothing to do with my family, um, uh, who brought me up with great, really, really well. And, and, and uh, my family, if you are watching, love you loads. Um, what I'm trying to say is sometimes a friend isn't enough. Sometimes you need someone professional to get you through things that, and uh, you know, a mate wouldn't understand, wouldn't know how to deal with. I mean, there's many different therapies. I've done counselling. I've done cognitive behavioural therapy. I've done EDMR, and 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 many of those things. When they're, when you're guided through traumatic experiences and things that that are basically the best way I can describe it is like imagine trying to pull a big cup, load of bin bags full of rubbish behind you all the time wherever you go you you, you need to clear out the rubbish that's dragging you down and mm -hmm. and that, that was a lot of, you know yeah. stuff for me was i need to clear out the wreckage of my past and the stuff that had damaged me in the past so that i could move on in life in a good way and sometimes that needs to be done and if that needs to be done whether it's addiction whether it's you know uh, abuse as a child whether it's whatever it is you know you as a person and i'm speaking to anyone who's going through that right now you as a person if you're watching this you deserve that you deserve to live a life free of the those traumatic uh feelings inside yourself you deserve a, a life of inner peace and and that's available to everyone who who's willing to reach out and look for it like you know yeah. you need to look for it and you need to want it like so yeah. um yeah that's yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know. yes as i always say ready able willing and above all seeking it, it raws. It. That's yes. it. If, I mean, it, it, it's really true. If um, if you, you yourself uh, are not seeking this this help, or um, then uh, it's not uh, not somebody else's uh, cup of tea to to drag you to it. And you, I think, uh, Dan, I think uh, you know exactly. Yeah, um, uh, you would know best, I guess. Um, well, it, one of the things uh, I always know when I meet people, like I meet people, many people need. Like for, I talk about my own journey as a, as a recovering drug addict, I I needed it, but I also wanted recovery. Yeah. So there's and a you sought it. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that need it, yeah. but don't want it. And if you want something, then you'll go and go seek and out it. the help that you need. Yeah. yeah. You'll do the things that are suggested. I was suggested to go certain places, do certain things, work twelve steps. All those things were suggested yeah. to me, and I wanted it enough because I I was sick of sick of the horrible horrible feeling inside myself of not being good enough not wanting to live anymore mm. and and that was enough of a motivator to me to say you know i want more out of life and um and if you want that if you're listening to this or watching this or you feel that you want that reach out to the right places like you know you you, you as a person deserve it and you do need to want it like and and go through anything to get it like yeah you know i just want to hit some of the comments if i may Yes. Uh, Jill Gardinier says, I had a lot more calmness in my life since I met Jez 11 years ago. That's made me happier. He's really chilled and laid back, which is the opposite to me. So <laughs> opposites that gel together. Yeah. We met Jez and he's the, one of the most relaxed people I've, I've ever met. So I totally understand that. And Anne is say, Anne Rialton saying, agree 
not to lock your emotions inside, even though sometimes can be difficult. And yes, Daniel, happiness comes from within yourself. Everybody's saying, Daniel, great. That was back then. Neil Davidson, we help a homeless man in Las Americas. It makes my day to see him when we are there. And it's mm -hmm. main reason why we keep coming back. Right. So the guy with the hat, Neil. Uh, I know ex for an uh, Andre fella, I know from experience a personal connection with someone is a massive relief. And um, Denny Underwood says, let's all be a happy family tomorrow. Gary's saying, accept who you are, be kind to others and reap the benefits. Most of all, be kind and gentle with yourself. Yeah. And uh, Flying Trucker, unconditional love of an animal may help mm -hmm. uh, oh, to yeah. make you happy. Yeah? Uh, and Mark saying, experience happy times. You need to experience sad times. We were saying about that the other day. Yeah? Yeah. You need the, the yin with the yang. Uh, Trisha's saying, hardest part is asking for help. Uh, Tina, True. very good thoughts, Daniel. Gratitude is very important. Heather McCarthy saying, joined in very late. Daniel and Yuliani always say such positive things. I admire Daniel and how he has tuned, turned his life around. So you're getting good uh, thumbs up there. Uh, Julie's asking a question. What can you do if someone doesn't show their feelings? How do you help them out? That is a good question. Yeah. Um, anyone want to take a stab at it? Well... I mean, that's a that's a tricky one. Uh, you just keep uh, just keep l yeah sending love basically, or uh, or mm, don't force it. Nothing uh, mm. can really be be forced or, or pressured up on some somebody. You know, if we if we pressure too much. Um, I mean, we can probably all relate that uh, that it doesn't really uh, bring the result um, we want faster. So um, still having the the last week I was talking about the decision or intention. Still um, keep your good intentions you have, um, and keep keep that um, keep that vibration and that momentum uh, of your intention keep it going and uh, don't don't give up on that uh, on that person yeah. and um, eventually when that person is ready able willing and seeking uh, it uh, that someone will know <coughs> that you are there um, is there a possibility I mean the question is like two-pronged can what can you do if someone doesn't show their feelings yeah um, how do you then how do you know then that they need you to be in their life? It's 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 a I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one it's because if somebody's not showing their feelings, yeah, then maybe um, I don't know. I mean, I'm very I'm very similar. I sh I show my feelings very very quickly, mm -hmm. and but I I seem to recover quite well, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm very short-lived because I don't really have time to be sad because mm -hmm. Christina's always giving me stuff to do, aren't you, kid? <laughs> <laughs> do, do not you, Christine. <laughs> I put your microphone up and you're not saying nothing. Yeah. I'm going to put it back down now. Oh. <laughs> She's snoring all the time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so it is hard. It, it is hard. Um... To, to know when you're giving somebody something and if they're not asking for it. I think yes. that's what I'm trying to say. How do you help somebody if they're not asking for it? Dan was saying earlier that, was, you know, you need to want it. Yes. And so there's no use... Um, the, I don't think it's any use forcing yourself onto somebody who's not yeah. ready. And it, that's what I want that's to say. Exactly. It's a hard question that's to answer. A, uh, and, and most of all, um, n not forgetting about yourself. I mean, don't give up your, yourself on that, uh, on that journey. Mm -hmm. uh, still keep, uh, keep enough respect and um, yeah, self-love for, for yourself and don't make... Um, make this other someone um, like taking over your head and uh, a priority. Mm -hmm. Zelda Carr saying, when you're faced with serious health complications and mostly recover, uh, you do appreciate your life. Uh, I practice mindfulness. Hmm. It takes a lot of practice, but it works for me, says Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. Great practice. 
Uh, yeah. just, on, just on what you were saying, can I just say something? Yeah, sure, of course, of course, of course. Just on what uh, Julian was saying um, in relation to that that particular question, like I'd be a hundred percent on it. Like what, I agree, you know. And I I'm really bad at that. Like I struggle watching someone, you know, when I'm looking at them going, do you know, do you need help? You know, and and that's one of my things. I, I really like don't know somehow sometimes how to just step back and go, do you know what? Um, they don't need me constantly asking them are they okay or is there something because it, it, put, it puts them off talking to me even more you know and god bless you um it just it just it, you know they they less want to talk to you than than when you're doing that and and what what i've learned to do when i can and i'm not saying all the time is to just turn around to the person and say do you know what i'm here if you ever need to talk i'll be here in a loving and compassionate way and when you're ready to talk just give just just i'm here and then just leave it at that and yeah. at least they know that if they want to talk to you that you're there when they're exactly they, if they're ready or when they're ready and and i find that that's quite a hard thing to do as a person is because you see someone struggling you really want to help them mm -hmm. and um yeah i think sometimes as julianne said you just have to step back and just go look i'm here if you need me i'm here but not keep What's the best way of describing mitering them to to give you? I think I, 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 yeah, I, I think I think it's a it's a it's a situation uh, you would need to come face to face with at that time, and yeah. I, I think you would you, you would make a decision there whether whether you, you try and reach out to, to help them. Uh, it, it is a difficult one. I yeah. Say. Yeah, it is difficult. But I think the most difficult things is thing is to deal with angry people. With angry people? Sad is you can help or you can be with them, but yeah. if somebody's angry, he's just blocking everything else. Yeah. How would you do that? Or you don't really have an angry Tim? <laughs> yeah, he's angry some th sometimes, and then no, I should shut up. But then it uh, it's it's like it's not permanent. Does that mean that no. I'm angry because you're talking? Is that what you're <laughs> no, but whatever I say when you're angry, it's the wrong thing. I mean, sometimes I get uh, frustrated with the situation, don't I? Yeah. And um, there's and I know. I know what to do and I know I've got to do it and I know how to deal with it, I think, yeah? And sometimes, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, if Christina comes in and tries to give me advice, I'm, I'm not that yeah. uh, receptive at that moment in time. And I apologise publicly for that, Christine. Thank you. You're that counts well. double, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but uh, it's, it's, it's true. I mean... Uh, but I'm always happy. Why is that? You're always happy. Yeah. Because probably you're doing uh, what you enjoy doing. That's true. That's yeah? true. I don't so have to get that, up and go to work. That gives... Uh, I live you... on the island of Tenerife. I've got a beautiful wife. I've got great friends. Yeah. I... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's, where, I'm, I'm privileged. Yeah. Where were you, where were you born, Happy? I was born... At, well, I was actually until that guy slapped me. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, I wanted to ask you then, um, uh, did um, uh, going over to La Palma, for instance, um, give, did that give you um, sort of, I mean, uh, uh, don't, I don't want to say happiness, because um, you cannot really compare that uh, with happiness, but a sort of uh, you helping some, uh, somebody. Satisfaction, um, uh, satisfaction, or does uh, does that uh, at least um, give you the sense of um, I have done something about a situation in, uh, instead of uh, observing only observing the situation and getting sad about it and uh, and not doing anything because um, uh, the action is sort of um, the um, the fuel, isn't it? Dan, um, would you say you uh, caused you some kind of uh, yeah happier feeling? Firstly, great dramatic shot, Tim. Um, <laughs> like the way you switched the view and put the volcano on the bottom right hand corner, excellent. Um, thanks for the question, Julian. Um, 
like honesty is really important to me so the the main reason i initially went over there is because i wanted to see the volcano okay because i i felt personally it was a once in a lifetime opportunity okay so mm -hmm. i wanted to see the volcano i said you know um i'm gonna vlog it while i'm over there when i got over there um and i realized the destruction that it's causing i felt that i could do something via the platform that I have of YouTube and that we all have a YouTube mm -hmm. to help people because it does have a way of, like we've seen in the past when I've raised money for different charities along the way, um, it does um, give the opportunity to raise money for, for people that need it. Do, like does, yes, it gives me a spiritual well-being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you have to give things, give things away to get, get it back. And for me, like realistically, when you look at the grand scheme of why are we here, that big question of like, mm -hmm. why am I living? Why am I on this planet? You know, that we can all ask ourselves on a regular basis. Yeah. Is it a, to accumulate physical and uh, physical things? Is it, accum is it to accumul accumulate wealth? Is it to accumulate more stuff? Or is it to, to leave um, a ripple of, of a, li a little ripple or a big ripple of kindness to, to people around yeah. you and leave some sort of well-being to people around you to to also carry experiences in your life that you'll never forget because for yeah. me that's you know from from wanting to die to to go into a place where i can experience life that's what i said to myself now i'm clean now i'm experiencing life i want to taste see and feel things that i've never seen before i want to see the world i wanted to go tenerife i still want to travel more um, so for me, that was part of that was going to see the volcano, but also mm -hmm. on the way to do the next right thing to help someone beside yeah. you, to offer kindness to someone. So that mm -hmm. coupled with that definitely gave me some sort of inner well-being that, you know, yeah. I did feel yeah. good being over there. I did feel that I wasn't just leaving, uh, I wasn't just going for voyeurism of watching it. Exactly. Um, that, I, you know, that I could offer some sort of... Uh, um, help in a way as well so mm -hmm. yes i do yeah. do definitely it's, it's a part of my life that's yeah. important to me yeah um and 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 i also on that level just quickly like to thank the all the viewers that watch our channels i've had regular people come into the shop and hand me cash to give to charities okay so they've regularly handed me cash to give to the different charities that i i, I put the money aside for and and that alone for me makes doing videos worthwhile because it can help someone else you know um mm -hmm. if that makes sense because mm -hmm. you know the, the the youtube has done really good for my business but as a platform i can also use it to help other people and that that fulfills me on that level yeah. as well i think taking makes. and giving back is yeah. uh, is your forte dan i mean yeah it's uh, it really is and we applaud you for it i yeah. mean i i should we're all doing it I should do more. I mean, I, I like to thank Alf and Sue for the money for the beers at the weekend, for instance. <laughs> I can't compete. I can't compete. I can't compete. But as I said, it's, it's not a competition uh, for the vloggers on the island. Everybody offers something oh, different. Yeah. And I think you're doing a, a, great, a great service there, Dan. And yeah. uh, your content is really good. And I've, I've watched you grow from right at the beginning to now. And you are you've grown in leaps and bounds so well done thank you, you for the kind words my friend very as welcome. of you as of you and not only that but i want to say to ian as well that he got involved earlier on this year with my website and started uh, giving me tips there as, as a sort of like the guy with the um with the the view of the viewer if yeah. you like you know and ian's come in and he's like He's done marvellous things for Balcony Banter. Yeah, absolutely. And I've, I've said this every week, Balcony Banter is not everybody's cup of tea, but it's the one that I like because mm -hmm. I think it's the one that, that makes the most impact on the people, you know? And I think the people enjoy it, you know? I can walk around in the mornings as often as I like and I can go for Freaky Friday um, whenever I like. Um, but I think the Balcony Banter one is is something of a, a, a service as well, you know? Yeah. It's something that we can give. And don't forget, you can go over and get 10 times the amount of good Alyssa on Yuliani's channel. 
and we're still trying to get to, to get some more subscribers. So if yeah, not, well, they're going down, but uh, uh, I I also uh, haven't started my channel um, because of uh, followers or anything. I mean, I really do enjoy balcony banter, and that's uh, why I committed to it uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, and uh, Ian, I'm I'm really uh, grateful that you are part of our team, and uh, Christine and Tim. Anyway, uh, so uh, so this is uh, fantastic, and thank you guys for uh, joining us every every week. I mean, we couldn't do it without you. <laughs> we a great Juliana. team, aren't we? We yes, are a great team. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll be right back. Wow! So that was the team, guys. We're coming up to the hour. That's brilliant, by the way. Thank you very much. We're coming up to the hour. I just want to show you the latest. Uh, view of the volcano there this is from tv canarias or te ube canarias mm -hmm. and canarias sorry not canarias canarias and uh, this is the view from our balcony now so the sun has gone um oh shouldn't be filming the the neighbors and neighbors <laughs> so, so. but they got a nice uh, so. nice little sign up there vive rie y ama <laughs> live, is, live, laugh, and love. Live, laugh, and love. Live, laugh, and love. Now, <laughs> I bet you're wondering why I'm all green. It's because the light I've got, because I've got me, I've got the sun behind me normally. The light I've got is too bright now. It's dark, and I threw me green, me green thing over it. Because otherwise, I'm blo I'm way blown out. But I'm way blown out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm actually going to turn this off now. I'm not just. They will mix the you ball. with the moon. Oh, it's the moon! <laughs> it's a full moon. You don't want me to moon, do you? <laughs> no. No, no. Okay, that's better. That's better. So, I turn off. so I want to thank Dan for coming on. Um, expectedly, unexpectedly, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. And don't forget, we've uh, we've got to get together one one day before you. Uh, no. When you've moved, I didn't even know you were moving house. Where are you going? Yeah, we don't even have a home at the moment, and we have to find a place by the end of this month because we have to be out of where we are by the end of this month. And Is that, um, was that unexpected or what? Do you know what? Um, it was just I was given a notice before I uh, I was just leaving for Ireland. I was told. Oh no! So um, and and um, yeah. So let's talk about I it offline. Came back and now I'm looking again, and we're just struggling to find a place. If anyone's watching is from in the area, we're looking for a two bedroom apartment um, in, near this area for rent. Um, and I need to get it sorted by the end of this month. I moved in by the 1st of December because I need to go back to Ireland again. Because my, as I said, my mom is extremely unwell and um, you know, uh, I'm not gonna get into that because that will make me sad. And uh, I need to get back and see her again as soon as possible. So um, yeah, so. Yeah, so that's where I'm at now, looking for a new place to live. Dan, uh, yeah. thanks very much for coming in. It's such short news. No problem at all, yes. anytime. And Thank I, you, I Dan. Do it, I'll be on. Thank, Thank you, Dan, you and keep doing what you're doing uh, with your yeah serviceable attitude. It's really good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing as well. Great stuff. I really enjoyed the chat this evening. It was very, very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Many You're words of wisdom. You're welcome. Okay, ladies and jelly spoons. I'm going to wind it up now. I'm going to thank uh, Dan the man. I'm going to thank Ian the door. No, not Ian the doorman. Ian the <laughs> executive <laughs> producer. I'm going to thank Yuliani Nendel for such a wonderful um, host, being a such a wonderful host. And of course, my wife for not uh, kicking me under the table. <laughs> Cold. Before you, before my wheelchair is broken. Oh yeah, the wheelchair is broken. I'm, I'm getting it fixed. Don't we? Just and uh, you, we're just we're gonna go for vamos a la playa. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you on the next one, guys. If I we will actually be reading through all your comments, but if you if we yep. missed it, please when it's finished and it's and it's up on on normal, uh, make a comment again if yes. you want. Yeah, please exactly. do, and yep, we all do. read those. So, yeah. ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs>